Alright, in this video I'm going to show you how to analyze your hard drive usage with WinDIR stat, otherwise known as Win Directory stat or WinDir stat. Um, so we have it on our desktop here. We'll load it up. Okay, it gives you the option of scanning all of your local drives, individual drives, or folders. I'm just going to scan an individual drive select my C drive and click OK. So you can see these little Pac-Man when it's working. OK, so now it's done. It took 11 seconds to scan this little 8 gigabyte drive. OK, so there are a few parts of WinDIR stat. There's the grid view up here, which sorts your uh, directories on the partition. Uh, you can expand the directories. And then, in addition to the grid, you have the tree map down here. So, the uh, tree map is just another representation of the grid. So, if we click on the Windows folder, we see that this whole rectangle gets highlighted down here. If we click on a sub subfolder inside Windows, this rectangle is highlighted. Here's the System32 folder. So uh, it's very intuitive in how the tree map works. Uh, one thing that stands out is this giant red rectangle here. Uh, if you click on it, if you click on any rectangle, in the tree map it automatically navigates to the file on the grid. Uh, so this is the page file and you would expect it to be one of the biggest files on the drive. Uh, another thing as you mouse over as you mouse over the uh, different uh, boxes down here on the tree map then uh, the file shows up in the status bar. You can see it changing as I move the mouse around. Uh, another part of the grid is that all the files in the tree map are color coded by file extension. So these dark blues all get highlighted when you click them. They're the DLLs. Reds are uh, dot .system files. Uh, they're the EXEs. So you can uh, you can really use this program to uh, clean up your hard drive, analyze mysterious hard drive usage. Uh, one, on this drive particularly, I don't really have anything except a fresh Windows install, so I don't want to really delete any files. Uh, be very careful with what you delete. Do not delete anything that you don't understand because there's a chance that you can render your machine unbootable. Uh, okay, so there's a couple different options on how to view the tree map. Uh, if we go up here to options, we can show the free space on our drive. So it rearranges everything and shows this big gray box as the free space on our drive. Another option is to show unknown files, and my unknown files are this giant yellow rectangle that was added down here. You can click on it and it says unknown. Generally this is part of the MFT zone, and that's describing that's beyond the scope of this video, but it's completely normal. Now when you get an unknown section that's like 50% or more <laughs> of your drive, then something is going wrong. Uh, it's usually a backup program that's gone haywire and you either need to adjust its settings or uninstall that backup program and find it one that works correctly. Okay, so I'll unselect those options and go into some deeper options. Okay, so you have the general options here which generally are concerned with cosmetic how the uh, grid looks uh, 
you can mess with how the tree map looks there's also a command line cleanup tool and uh, this is really an advanced option uh, I don't think I need to explain it because if you are going to be using this then this video is probably of no use to you but for the beginners stay away from the advanced cleanup options uh, there's definitely a possibility that you will erase a system file and render your machine unbootable so that is WinDIRstat it's a free and open source program available at WinDIRstat.info um, they've just resumed development on it so hopefully we'll get a new version soon but this version uh, is great and can really help in diagnosing some hard drive fill-ups so uh, if you have any more questions check out my blog at gaslampcomputers.com